Hi, this is Rick I6 uh, coming to you from Huntsville, Alabama. I was diagnosed with ALS in uh, November 2013. It is now February of 2015, so it's been a little over a year now, and uh, things are progressing. Uh, ALS is a progressive disease that, uh, that uh, afflicts most of the voluntary muscles in your body at some point in time. Today I wanted to talk to you about voice banking, uh, something that I worked on in the last few months. And uh, it's very important to do voice banking because at some point in time uh, I know that I am going to lose my ability to speak and uh, you can use various synthesized voices or you can create a synthesized voice of your own. And so I thought, well, let's give it a try. You know, it's, uh, it's free. And uh, <clears throat> I thought, well, I might as well give it a try. And uh, I don't necessarily want to sound like Stephen Hawking all the time, though he's a very brilliant man. Uh, I want to have my own voice on my own person. So I started looking for different programs. And uh, through the ALS Association, they recommended Model Talker at a webinar that I participated in. You can probably find that webinar uh, uh, on the ALS site. Uh, I think it was titled Speeching, Swallowing, and Communication, things like that. So anyhow, I looked up Model Talker. Now, what is Model Talker? Model Talker is a program that right now is in beta form. It's free for us to use, uh, but you have to do a few things to get involved in it. And so I'm gonna show you some of those things. If I can do this, this is kind of new technology here for me, but I'm doing a screen capture here of my video, and at the same time, I wanna be able to bring up uh, the Model Talker website. So, uh, here's the Model Talker website. It's uh, www.modeltalker.org. Okay, not .com, .org. And uh, if you just Google Model Talker, you'll find it. But it's, uh, uh, it's a program that once you synthesize your voice, you can use it with various Windows platforms. Uh, there's a new uh, app. Uh, that's been developed out of the UK that comes from uh, uh, that allows you to use the synthesized voice for an iPad. Uh, I happen to have a Mac uh, so I used it on my Mac and uh, there's a so <coughs> uh, ability to add it to your Mac. Uh, before you add it you have to also uh, on the OS X you have to add the the dictation and speech control panel, which basically uh, allows you to do text-to-speech. And that's free, but it uh, needs to be downloaded if you uh, haven't already done so. So anyhow, this is, this is the program. What I want to do is uh, I'm going to log in here and see if I can show you some of the things that I went through. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to talk about a couple of technical things here. One of them is the headset. Uh, you don't want to use the internal mic on your, uh, on your computer. Internal mics are garbage. Um, th this happens to be one of the ones they had recommended. They change all the time. Uh, it's a Logitech G330. It's a gaming headset. And you'll put it over your ears if you can get it on there. I struggle while I do that. I won't make you laugh at me by watching me try to do that right now. So trust me, you, I can get it on, but it's a little tricky. But anyhow, it's kind of fun. And so you put, the, put that headset on, and uh, you've got to do a few things, technically. Um, essentially, what, what you're going to be doing is spending about six or eight hours of um, uh, reciting sentences one at a time. And uh, to, in order to uh, get ready for it, they, have, they give you 10 sentences. And uh, 
you you speak those ten second sentences through your your headset, and they evaluate the the quality of the sound. Uh, most of us don't have a sound recording studio in our home, but you probably got something that might be close to it. When I first recorded it, uh, they sent the ten they sent back a note and said, "Well, you know, you're you're breathing a lot." I said, "Oh well, that's good. I got to breathe." But they just suggest, you know, you don't <laughs> take a breath in when you start a sentence, and when you finish, don't <sighs> exhale. So you kind of take your breath beforehand, press the, the record button, and speak the sentence, and then it automatically stops when you stop speaking, and then you can breathe afterwards. So I did that. That got rid of the breathing problem. Then they detected an echoing problem. Most of us have, uh, you know, walls and uh, hardwood floors like we have in here, which set up a bit of an echo that is not very good for, um, for recording and banking your voice. What I ended up doing is we have a walk-in closet, and in my section of the closet, for a guy, it's got, you know, two levels. It's got, you know, like shirts up on the top and pants down on the bottom. And so there's clothes all around you. So I brought my wheelchair in, you know, and uh, I uh, drove it in there with my laptop in my lap and my headset on my head. And I closed the door and brought the dog in with me. And she sat there and listened to me babble these sentences hours on end. But uh, the clothing acts as kind of like an anechoic chamber. It absorbs any echoing of sound and things like that. Um, you know, most of us have some sort of a room we could do that. They even recommend if you don't have such a place like that, that uh, you can put a blanket over your head when you're doing it. I don't know how much fun that would be. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, you, you want to shut off your phones. You want to shut off any fans or I even shut off the heating system so that it, you wouldn't hear air handlers in the, in the attic going on and off and things like that. Get rid of any extraneous noise. Once you do that and pass their, um, pass their uh, uh, quality check that they do on your, on your recording, then they give you what's called the full inventory. And once you get the full inventory, you start recording your sentences one by one. I want to show you... Uh, I want to show you, I hope I can do this, I want to show you what it looks like when you're recording these things. So I come in here, my super secret passcode. And I log into the system, and <clears throat> every time you come in, you have to do a a uh, you have to do a uh, uh, a settings thing where they test your background noise. But once you do that, this screen comes up, and when this screen comes up, uh, there will be a series of sentences that are displayed in this area of the screen. And you have a peak amplitude, a speech rate meter, and a pronunciation meter. So after you, as you, as what happens is they come in and they will say, this gentleman will say the, the, the sentence for you. And you use, you don't use any, you try not to use any intonation or things like that. You try to just speak smoothly. You don't want to speak real slow and deliberate because that's not going to work either. You want to speak very smoothly. And you don't want it to be too loud. And this will tell you if it gets into the red. It will tell you if it got too loud. You can you can adjust your headset or the placement of the microphone. That's key. You don't want to put it right in front of your mouth. You want to put it either up or down. I happen to put mine up a little bit and it worked just fine. Speech rate, 
you know, if, you, if you're too fast with a sentence, it'll go into the red, or too slow with a sentence, it'll go into the red. And generally, if you're in the green or slightly into the yellow, I took that as victory, especially in the pronunciation. Uh, you can tell my, I'm losing my voice a bit here, and the pronunciation sometimes was not in the green, but it, I, I would repeat the sentence until I could get at least into the high yellow, you know, above the 16 mark here. So that's what we do. And basically, the sentence comes up, and you press this button here for record, and that will that button will disappear. And when you finish speaking, it will automatically stop. And so you don't have to press it to start and stop. You just press it to start. Whether it detects you are no longer speaking, it will automatically stop and move on to the next sentence. There are sixteen hundred sentences that you have to have to do here, and I did it over a period of a, of a couple of weeks, and uh, I spent about an hour on it in the, in the morning when I was most able to do so. And uh, i get back to me here so you can see my lovely face. So I, I ended up doing that in the morning, and um, it worked out pretty well. Now, the, the voice, you might ask, well, how's the voice? Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Uh, in some areas, it gets choppy. We're only six to eight hours of voice recording here, um, which totals about uh, that, that six to eight hours of, of recording ends up being about 45 minutes of actual voice recording, as they say. Um, some of the voices that you hear that are used on uh, your... Um, uh, <clears throat> SGDs or your um, uh, text-to-speech applications. Some of those voices are the professional voices that were done in the studio with maybe 10 times. There might be you know, 4,500 hours worth of recording rather than 45 minutes. So, you know, you don't really want to spend that kind of time, but you want something that sounds like you. So, uh, when I was done, I, I'm happy with it. It's not perfect. It gets kind of choppy in spaces. But I'm going to give you a demonstration of what my voice sounds like. You've been hearing me. Um, you've been hearing me for a little bit here. Now let's go back and uh, see what it looks like. I thought that this sentence right here Okay, the model talker system is a revolutionary speech synthesis software package developed by the Nemours Speech Research Laboratory and is designed to benefit people who are losing or who have already lost their ability to speak. It allows people who use speech generation devices to communicate with a unique personal synthetic voice that is representative of their own voice. Okay, I just read that to you for comparative purposes. Now here's my voice from Model Talker. The Model Talker system is a revolutionary speech synthesis software package developed by the Moore Speech Research Laboratory and designed to benefit people who are losing who have already lost their ability to speak. It allows people who use a speech generating device, SGD, to communicate with a unique personal synthetic voice that is representative of their own voice. Okay, I guess I, I think you get the point. It's uh, it's not perfect. Uh, it's a little choppy. It's not real smooth, but it's me, and uh, that's what's important to me. Is that's me. You know, it's not somebody else's voice. It's it's a voice that sounds like my own. And so I think I'm going to use that. Um, I think it'll probably be, hopefully not right away, but as it becomes more and more difficult, and uh, since I'm having bulbar issues right now, it's important to do. Um, I wish I had done this earlier. It was very difficult for me at this stage to do some of the enunciation. So 
I'm going to tell you if you if you want to bank your voice, do it now. If your voice is very strong, don't make up an excuse like I did. I knew I had to do it. I kept on making up excuses. Do it now. It's uh, it's so much easier when your your tongue works. You know, <laughs> those of us with problems with our, our our mouths and our tongues know what I'm talking about. It's much easier to to enunciate these words clearly, and for the the better that you can speak these words and these sentences that they give to you, the better the quality of your synthesized voice is going to be. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, I don't need that yet, well, you do. And even if you don't, it only takes a couple of weeks or maybe one hour every other day to get this thing done. Take that time and do it. It's free. Got model talker program. By the way, I went out on the internet and looked for other pieces of software, and I found one in, I don't know, I think it was in Norway or something like that. And it was a company that does a very similar thing. And they sent me a note and said that they would be glad to do my voice, but if one, and if, if I liked it, after doing the hours of banking the voice, if I liked it, they would be glad to sell me that for 2,400 euros. 2,400 euros, I'm thinking, yeah, I think it's about a buck and a quarter <laughs> per euro. So you're, you're probably talking well over $3,000. But this Nemours program, and by the way, they do take contributions if you have some money to help them offset their costs. But uh, the Nemours program is in beta testing and it's for free. And uh, it's particularly good for ALS patients. So I thought I'd share that with you and I hope this has been good for you. And uh, it's always good for me to try to share something with, with my friends with, with ALS. And uh, I love you all and uh, hope, uh, hope to see you again. Take care.